Hi, in this video, using the example of such a simple housing, I will show you several examples of how fastening elements can be made when designing various types of housings. And here I have three such simple examples, and I will show you how to do something like that. I will create a new file, and we will start by creating a cuboid, then we will add a thickness operation to create an enclosure, I create a sketch on the XY plane, I will create a rectangle with dimensions of 100 by 70 millimeters. I will also add an extrusion of 70 millimeters and we will create a shell. Here, let's set the wall thickness to the center and the wall thickness to 3 millimeters. And we have such a simple box. Sometimes it is during the design of enclosures that these enclosures consist of two parts that are then joined. Of course, there are different types of connections. We can combine them in different ways. So, one of the easiest ways to create a fastener is to simply create a sketch on the bottom face. Create a new sketch. Here we will recognize one of the outer edges. Now, as you can see, this edge even though it is recognized, is invisible. I'll switch to section view, and now this edge is visible. I choose to draw a rectangle and create a rectangle from that point. I will add the dimensions of this rectangle, 10 by 10 millimeters. And here in the middle, we will create a circle with a diameter of 4 millimeters. and I will place this circle in the center of this rectangle. And now, based on this sketch, we add an extrusion, and we can add such an extrusion to a specific length. Or we can simply add an extrusion to this wall. And here add rounding. And ok, this is one way to create such a fastener. The second way is to create a sketch on this face. And similarly to this element, we can also create a rectangle here. Let's create a circle. And, as before, I place the circle in the center of this rectangle. Ok, and here we add the extrusion, but here, as you can see, the entire model has disappeared, because the extrusion is directed upwards by default, and here you need to select reversed to make it appear, so that the next part of the model touches the previous part of the model. Here we define the extrusion length, for example 5 mm, and something like this is created. Sometimes, when creating this type of elements, a situation may arise that the extrusion cannot be performed, and these are situations in which the sketch touches the edge of the solid, and we want to extrude. In this case, I managed to do it, I managed to add an extrusion, but sometimes when we have a sketch in this form, where the sketch only touches the edge of the solid, the extrusion may not be made, and then in such situations, a better solution may be simply to create a sketch that will overlap solid. We can do it this way. Here we have a sketch that overlaps the model, and we are sure that the next stage of the 3D model will touch the previous stage of the 3D model. Here I will add some dimensions. Here I will recognize this edge create a circle, as in the previous examples, and place this circle between these two points. And based on something like that, I'll add an extrusion. And here, as you can see, even if the extrusion is directed in this direction, nothing has disappeared here. We can see the entire model, and we can see how this extrusion will be added. I will reverse it here, and also change the extrusion value to 5 millimeters. 
and this way we can also add these extrusions, and the way in which we create a sketch that overlaps the model is, in my opinion, a better way. Here, when it comes to the lines that appeared after this operation, they result from the fact that I have the refine parameter set to false, but if we change this parameter to true, these lines will not be visible, and now everything looks good. And here we will create another example. For this purpose, I will create an auxiliary plane. I will lower this plane here by, for example, 3 mm and create a sketch on this plane. Here I will recognize the outer edge and create a rectangle. And here this rectangle overlaps the model. I would like to dimension the length of this rectangle to determine the dimension of this point from this edge. At this point I cannot recognize this edge because the plane obscures my view, but we can temporarily turn this plane off. Just make sure no command is selected. Switch to the model tab, select a plane and press the space bar to turn off the visibility of this plane. Now we can return to the tasks tab. Select this option, select this line, and now we can determine the distance of this point from this point, and here I will enter for example 1.5 mm. When it comes to this dimension, this dimension doesn't matter much. Similar to this dimension, but let's add these dimensions. And here add an extrusion symmetrically from the plane by 3 mm. And let's add a rounding here, for example, 1.4 mm. And okay, this is how we can approach the design of fastening elements that will make it easier for us to connect two parts of the housing. And here I will show you one more way. To do this, simply create a construction plane. Lower this plane by the appropriate amount. And create a sketch on this plane. Here, I will create a sketch that will overlap the solid. Okay, we have this sketch. Close the sketch and add an extrusion symmetrically from the plane by 5 mm. I will turn off the plane visibility, change the refine parameter to true, and we have something like this. And okay, this is how we can approach the design of fastening elements. Of course, not all of these methods will work in every case. Here I just wanted to show you some examples of how you can approach this. The easiest way seems to be the first one, in which we simply create a sketch on the bottom wall of the housing and add an extrusion to a specific distance. Here, in this case, we can add an extrusion to the top wall, or we can add an extrusion for a specific distance. And okay, that's all for today. And if you would like to learn more about working with FreeCAD and want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system, you can take part in my course, the link to which is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.